Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'm here with the team behind The Third Eye, which placed top 10 in Pen Apps 2014. It's a Google Glass application that allows visually impaired people, blind people, to recognize objects that they wouldn't be able to see. This is a team of all freshmen, so to have placed top 10 in Pen Apps is very, very impressive. Can you guys please introduce yourselves? Sure. I'm Ben, and I'm a computer science and cognitive science dual degree. I'm Rajat, I'm a computer science degree. I'm David, I'm doing international relations. What was the motivation behind Third Eye? So, I had the idea of Third Eye a few nights before Pen Apps, or I had the idea of using Glass for something to do with visually impaired applications just because it was a very interesting use case for me. But then what really made us like very excited about Third Eye was just the personal connection I think we all felt with it. And then Joe comes up and he says, you know, his grandfather was actually visually impaired. And he talked about how his grandfather would really benefit from this kind of application because he talks about, you know, like, you know, Joe's grandfather very want, really wanted to be independent in life. He didn't want to have to ask anybody for help. And this application could really give him independence. We were like, now we had a purpose. We had a personal connection to help Joe's grandfather and 7 million other blind people around the country. There are 7 million blind people, you said. Yeah. 7 in million in, in America, yeah. And how about in the world? There's 20, 28 million or so. Multiply that. What are your plans going forward with Third Eye? So right now we're doing a lot of like user testing and obviously the main goal is to get get the product to the hands of as many people as possible. So basically, right now we have a product that works. You know, it allows blind people to really recognize objects. And based on the feed up, feedback we received, it's really helpful. But at the same time, based on like some of the testing we've done with some of these organizations, it seems very likely that you know we have to like improve our app. There's, there's just some things that they see that we don't. And so we've been working very hard on doing more advanced computer vision. What are some things that Third Eye can recognize? So it can recognize a lot of stuff, but some of the good examples we like to use are like currency denominations. So it can tell the difference between a $1 and a $5 bill. It can tell the difference between medicine bottles. It can recognize logos. It can read text even, uh, signs. Can you give us a demo? Yeah, sure. Um, like for example, I bet it could even recognize the camera. The camera? Yeah, I think so. OK. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Glass. Recognize this. So I currently see an image on the screen. Um, it has sent the image to our server, and it's doing computer vision algorithms on the image right now. Black Nikon DSLR camera. And it got the camera. Got Black Nikon camera. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Very cool. What are some things that you guys have learned with, you know, creating this startup? I think the greatest thing about running a startup in college is that it forces you to make the most out of the resources. And like you're just forced to like reach out to people. And then also like I feel like just you know, starting a creating a company it just teaches you how to like to learn how to do financing, the marketing, you know, reaching out to people, the writing, everything else. It teaches you a very broad range of skills that are extremely practical, and then I'll continue to use for the rest of my life. Okay, well, you guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I can't wait to hear what are some other great innovative technologies that you guys are going to be working on in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.